Hi guys, it's Elmer, your fire protection guy. What are you going to do if you arrive on site and there is no power in your main indicating panel and your battery is totally drained? So this is what you can do. If you are a fire alarm tester, you can only report that. Fill up the logbook and report that on arrival, you cannot test the system because there's no power. The second one, if you are a fire technician, right, you can check what's causing the problem. You check if the main switch is on, which is right now it's on. And if you want to go farther, you go to the main switch room and check for the circuit breaker. But if you are a fire alarm electrician, and a licensed electrician, you go beyond that, okay? Since I am an electrician, a licensed electrician, I wanna go beyond that. I check it earlier and there's totally no power in that particular cable, okay? And we are going to the main switch room to show you what's in there. This is the main switch room of the building. That is the house lights main switch board. That's the house light main switch. That means if I switch that off, everything here will be off, except shop, shop 37. So everything here, that's all residential unit switch boards. Now, where is the fire panel switchboard? That one. Okay. That's the fire panel circuit breaker. At present, there is power in the three phase for that particular shop, but there is no power from that circuit breaker. That means this cable from here, somewhere pro that goes somewhere there, is disconnected that's the reason why we had no power here either disconnected burn i don't know because there was a fire here in this switch room before so i tried to check and verify if there's a problem with the circuit breaker there's none so it's just i'm not getting power from that now let's run some cables and pick up that cable and let's see if we can relocate the circuit breaker from here to that spot okay let's start working so this is what I have done I installed a new circuit breaker that's my input power to 40 volts circuit breaker and that wire goes to that go, that cable I BP that and that will go to the main fire panel all right so this is only temporary okay so if you ask me why I do not fix the job because this job need two person it's unsafe to do it myself because I will be working in there and I need a special stick to bring my cables in and out and then all about. You need two person in this job. Okay, I'm only a one person right now, so I cannot do the job. So let the existing fire contractor, electrical contractor, I mean, that they have to do the, the job for me. Okay, so let's power it up. Okay, let's see what's happened. I hope we have power. Oh, lovely. Okay. We have power in the main fire indicating panel. But right now it has a system battery fault. Take note, your battery is totally drained right now. So to get rid of that fault, we best to replace these two batteries luckily i have batteries in my car so i'm going to replace those batteries because once this battery 
rate six volts, lower than six volts, it's better for you to replace those batteries rather than taking the risk of recharging it, okay? Let's go to the car and replace the batteries of this fire indicating panel. I'm back with my replacement batteries. Now, what? let's uh, talk about batteries, okay? When you are in a fire system, batteries are crucial. Okay, this battery is just recently installed. It's only around uh, three months old. If I leave this battery, let it charge, the battery system fault will clear itself. My only concern is I don't know how long the battery has been off. The last time I came here was three or four weeks ago, and this system is operational. Okay, if the battery has been drained for so long, of course, that battery needs to be changed. Do you want to take the risk of leaving the site and leave the battery and let the battery charge itself? If it does not charge, it become a problem in the future. So it's better for us to don't take the risk, just replace the battery, put a new one, and then you will fix that problem immediately and you don't need to come back on this site. So in the future, if there's a power blackout, you are 100% sure that your new battery will cope up, okay, and will activate. Okay, let's do the replacement. All right, the new battery is in. We put the date, we installed the battery, and let's power it up. All right, and ta-da, system back to normal. All right, so now you have a peace of mind to leave the place and everything is well. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. This is Elmer, your fire protection guy. I hope you learned something today. See you next time.